Controversy erupts in Auburn Hills as the city prepares to award cannabis business licenses. Residents sounding off at a city council meeting saying favoritism has led to one person receiving three of the four available licenses. The marijuana industry has boomed, of course, in recent years. Yes, last year, state brought in $3 billion in marijuana sales. But as of September, only about 840 businesses have average licenses, crunching the numbers. That means each retailer roughly accounts for $3.5 million in last year's sales. And you can understand why business owners are upset with missing out. Our Pamela Osborne went to that city council meeting to hear what's being done. Well, city leaders approved those licenses, but not before residents questioned them about the fairness of the process. The final decision should have been made after people spoke about their concerns, not before. Auburn Hills residents showed up to Monday night's council meeting wearing green, asking for the transparency they felt they had yet to receive from council members. The grading of the applicants and the applications is based on the criteria set forth in section 18-234. Back in 2022, residents voted to allow four adult use marijuana businesses. There were eight applicants vying for those four spots. All but one of them went to a single business owner. To me, 75% to one person, that's not competition. But there was something else residents were attacking. From the very beginning of the application process, we offered to the city, uh, Mr. Yatuma offered to the city, uh, a $100,000 upfront payment for their Veterans Memorial Park, uh, and then continuing $180,000 a year uh, in perpetuity. Those so-called community outreach benefits were included in those initial applications for Green Stone, Epic Stone, and Peach Stone, leaving residents wondering if those funds tipped the scale. I'm glad that there is community benefits coming from that, but the act of having the business within the community should be the benefit itself. Council stands by its selection process saying those community benefit dollars, they're not unique to Auburn Hills. Each and every council person voted in favor of those two business owners getting their licenses. In Auburn Hills, I'm Pamela Osborne local four. All right, Pam.